Thank you, Gonzalo, for the kind introduction. Um, it's my pleasure to be here. I always uh, like coming to Lisbon. And um, I'm going to make my points brief. I'm not going to show slides because uh, I stand between the prize awards and stand between the cocktail reception and everything else. So I'll make my remarks verbally. So I wanted to make six points, and I'm going to close uh, real quickly. I'm, I'll, I'll close with, uh, with what I call the six Bs of building sustainable uh, technology-based uh, incubators or accelerators. So first, on behalf of the MIT Portugal team back in Cambridge, uh, David Newman, Charlie Cooney, Jose Estabil, wanted to thank our collaborators here, including Gonzalo and Catarina, Jose Paulo, um, for all the work and putting this together and uh, all their focus and vision and getting this to its fourth edition. Also, I'd like to thank today's speakers. The speakers uh, brought a tremendous amount, as you saw, of, uh, their own individual distinction a tremendous amount of expertise and words of wisdom that they shared today. And we appreciate the speakers, particularly the ones that came in from Cambridge, and we, Jonathan, as well as Danny. So thank you for coming across the Atlantic and for sharing your words of wisdom today. I uh, also wanted to make the third point is that none of this would be possible without many collaborators, and you saw many of them today. That's Kaisha, FCT, Paul Fajardo's leadership. So there's a tremendous amount of people. Anytime something good like this comes together, there's a tremendous amount of people that help in bringing it together. Um, my next point, of course, is the teams. Uh, we work very hard with the teams. Mr. Gonzalo show you all the metrics of all the hours, all the iterations of the business plans, and we appreciate their passion, their commitment, and what you saw here was a reflection or sort of microcosm of a, a very good group of plans that were very difficult to narrow down to the ones that we'll be able to present today, and you will um, you know, hear more from them, and we wish all of them luck, and it's always... Uh, been an experience of entrepreneurs we all know, not always the teams that get awarded, the teams that win, uh, all, always the teams that go on to be the best companies. Um, I think it's just a metric point. I think the teams today will be validated, but certainly all the teams that didn't get on stage today that were part of the competition, all I encouragement to you to continue to pursue what you were pursuing uh, because there's room for many successes in this world. Finally, I, I want to end uh, with the, the sixth point, which is um, I would have shown you some slides, but I'll go quickly. So this program was built upon the foundation of looking at the Spande Entrepreneurship Center program over at MIT, and also the 100K competition, both which have had multiple levels of success in terms of um, creating companies, spinning them off, leveraging additional capital, creating jobs, attracting venture capital, and so forth. But also the team here uh, we also benchmarked a series of other incubators and accelerators and looked at a bunch of other competitions around the world. And I think there's some themes that, um, that are common to all of those. So I think the first thing, is people. So you always have to have really great people on this, and uh, the people stem from the people who are involved, both as advisors, the operational people, and I think you people in the audience as well. That all builds part of an ecosystem that um, makes this whole system thrive. The second piece is positioning. Whenever you create one of these things, you have to think about how you're different and how you're going to distinguish yourself amongst all the other um, programs that exist around the world, and this is a global initiative. So we spend a lot of time, and I know which is at Paulo and Gonzalo, we spend a lot of time while we were here uh, this week talking about how to make this uh, increasingly well-positioned, increasingly differentiated, increasingly able to compete in various markets. And I think that's a very key component and something we take very seriously because ultimately the companies that are here today, you are a customer, and the people in the ecosystem, you are a customer as well. So we have to keep giving you the distinction that keeps you uh, attracted to us and create the magnetism that we need to thrive. The third thing is productivity. Gonzalo gave you the metrics, but productivity in terms of leverage, productivity in terms of jobs created, productivity in terms of subsequent financing. So we do get together, we do have a lot of fun, but ultimately you gotta get things done. So productivity is, is key. The fourth element, um, so the prior piece again with people, positioning, productivity. The fourth one is playbook. Most of these types of entities develop a playbook that's unique. We have many things that we try to do that's unique. We have a three-phase a three phase process called E-Team. So we take teams from really an executive summary to some level a go-to-market plan, and finally into an immersion in Cambridge where they actually get to do investor roadshow, angel roadshows, and interface with investors, be part of an incubator there if they want, the Cambridge Innovation Center, which is the largest incubator of its kind in the world, which houses somewhere between 400 and 500 startups. And then um, also, it, it's not trivial that you need purse, and that's the fifth P, purse meaning capital. So Kaisha, thank you for being the, the great sponsor in the initial purse. But, the purse is also important in terms of subsequent purse. That's both formal and informal. And I think as we look at the program evolving, we look at additional sources of capital. And finally, it's patience. Um, and none of these things are overnight successes. It takes time. We follow the companies. Uh, we're passionate about every company that enters the program over the years. 
The last three years, you know, out of the 60 semifinalists, uh, 45 plus of them are still in active contact. We try to maintain in touch because we know it's a journey. It's not a destination. And as Jonathan said earlier, it's a linear path. It's not, uh, I mean, it's a non-linear path, not a linear path. And so we know that's important. So on behalf of, uh, of again, Jose Paulo leadership over at MIT, Charlie Cooney, uh, we hope that, you know, in terms of the people, the positioning, the productivity, the playbook that we've developed, the purse relationships, and as well as the recognition of patients, that we continue to serve all of you. We look at you as our customer and, and the people that we serve and the people who try to deliver. And we try to be uh, existing in an ecosystem that's developing in Portugal that we think will be very productive um, in this century of entrepreneurship and innovation. So thank you, good luck to the teams, and we look forward to seeing you over at the reception.